Good morning, friends. We are at my mom and dad's house today and we are doing their living room makeover today. So if you have been watching, we did their kitchen and then we did my bedroom and then their bedroom and bathroom that had a flood back the very beginning of the year. So they had to get a complete remodel. And so we're going through and decorating each room for y'all. And today we're gonna to be doing the living room and the guest bathroom. So here is mom and we are going to be decorating her living room today. So this piece she already had in here I don't know if we're gonna be able to decorate it today though. We were gonna paint it, but we kind of think that it goes along with her living room furniture good. So y'all let us know in the comments anything that y'all see that needs to be painted or changed up because we need all the help that we can get. So I think our plan is mom actually ordered some wall, some wallpaper and it's supposed to be coming in today. No, tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. So we're not gonna be able to decorate this today. We have to find some stuff to go in it, so we might do like another little video clip of that in another video, but we did get some really cool wallpaper. I'll insert it here so y'all can see what it's gonna look like to kind of change it up just a little bit to put just in the back of it. So we're gonna put it just back here to kind of brighten it up some so the things that we pick out to put in here as far as the decor pieces will stand out. So she got this from the first store pretty much right before the flood happened. And we had it decorated all cute, but we ended up selling a lot of things at mom and dad's house and we're kind of starting over. So right now you're seeing all the big pieces of furniture. They got the new couch. They used to have like a green couch in here and they got new chairs. They got all this from Ashley's. And then before y'all ask, um, cause we get asked in every video that we've done, the wall color is sculptor gray, sculptor gray sculptor clay and it's by bear some from home depot so that is the color of her walls we copied our friend we copied our cousin rachel penton's living room wall color and it looks so good this is the original fireplace that dad built years ago and we have the tv put back up and then this is the piano that mom and dad bought my sister and i to learn how to play piano so we moved all this around and now we're gonna add all the decor touches. And then we got this beautiful chandelier also. She got this from Amazon, right? And it took a minute to put up. You had to put each of these individual little crystals up and the little hooks you had to put on there too. So it took a minute, took all three of us to do it. Took about an hour, yeah, didn't it? Hour. Yeah, it, it would have taken forever. So you need about three people to assemble this. But she got it from Amazon and we were so glad that we got it because it's so pretty. So this is their living room. There's the kitchen. All the living room decorations are in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. While we decorate the living room, I think I'm just gonna let you guys listen to some fun music as y'all see us work around like little busy bees. Let me know what you like. Do you like to hear these little voiceovers and me kind of chat with y'all about life or what's going on or about the decor that we're using? Or do you like just sitting back, relaxing and listening to some fun music as you watch someone decorate? Y'all let me know in the comments down below so I can kind of cater to y'all and what y'all like to um, sit around and watch and listen to because y'all are the one watching these so i want to do everything to please you guys
Okay, guys, now we're going to be going into their guest bathroom. So this is what it looks like. I love, love, love the porcelain floors. They look like marble. It is absolutely so stunning. It looks so clean. And I feel like it is very glamorous in here. And I love this little vanity that my mom and dad found for their bathroom. And then she already had her shower curtain up. I believe she said she got that from Ross. So we're going to decorate it up. So we're wiping everything down with this Steve's cleaner. It's an all natural um, cleaner and no toxic fumes as we are cleaning so we're not coughing and gagging as we're cleaning this little bathroom in here if you're interested in the thieves cleaner you can always email me at simply like in lace at yahoo.com and i can hook you up with that and some essential oils that we use around our house so we really didn't buy anything new for mom's bathroom we really shopped her house did really good with using what she already had we are going to take a shopping trip one day and look for some things to finish out decorating her little spaces but right now we decided just to decorate each room and everything that she had that we could put together and then make a list of things that she needed and go fill in the spaces so you will see some bare spaces in this video or have any ideas on where we need to put things or what needs to go in a space that's empty. Y'all definitely let us know in the comments because we need some help with this decorating. And now we decided to go ahead and just start adding in some leftover decor into this little cabinet so you can kind of get an idea of what we are looking for. Okay, this is what we have done so far to a mom's piece. You won't be able to see the wallpaper in there, sadly, because it's not going to be delivered till tomorrow. But we are going to do like a show another update on how we decorate this thing. But so far, we kind of put some pieces she already had in there. We shopped her house. And then we got on Pinterest and looked for some inspiration. I'll show you some inspiration pictures that we always look for. We just get on Pinterest and do like book. What is this called? Like cabinet styling? Like living room cabinet styling, that kind of thing. And Pinterest will give you all kind of ideas. So she said she wanted a family picture. And then we just started like eyeballing and feeling like what we could actually find like at the thrift store or home goods. And we just started making little post-its of what all we could look for. So we got to find a pretty picture frame to put a family picture in for this one. She wants a globe and dad loves globes. So we're gonna try to find a pretty globe to go here. We're gonna try to find some pretty books at the thrift store and maybe some of those brass like duck bookends. And then we're gonna try to look for something white and floral to go here with these beads and then maybe some books to put under the floral arrangement. And then we have these brass candlesticks, but they don't really match. So we were gonna to try to look for one more big one and then put these two on the dining room table. And then we have this little picture that she got from my grandma's house. So I think that we have a good list of what we need to be looking for so we can complete this. It makes it a lot easier to know what to shop for. We're going to take a picture of this and then take it with us shopping. So we went to the plant store because we needed to add some life to some areas. That is a little trick. If you need a little space to be brightened up and add some life, go find some house plants. I feel like every room needs something green, at least one or two things that's living in there and it'll make it feel so homey in there. So we're gonna just take this little fern that we bought and mom already had this little vase that she got at the thrift store. And we're gonna set it over here on the nightstand beside the Bibles. And I'm gonna get everything a good watering. And then I'm gonna show y'all around on how we styled their living room and guest bathroom. Hey, we are finished for today. So this is their guest bathroom. So we have a diffuser in here with some oils. It makes it feel very spa-like. And then I love, love, love this little light that my mom got. I can't remember where, but if you want to know, again, you can ask in the comments and she can respond to you. But I love how it puts off the pretty little reflection of the light bouncing off the glass into the walls. And we feel like we need something over there on the right side of this beautiful cabinet. We don't want it to feel too cluttered in here, but I feel like maybe even another live plant would be beautiful over there. And then on the back of the toilet, we just have some matches in this candle that we made homemade with my essential oils. That was very fun and easy to do. And then behind the toilet, we did this little collage of some things that people had made my mom homemade. She's had for years and we need to look for something to fill in the space right below this shelf. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Just another little like art piece or something. And then we have a life plant over here, which we're gonna replace later. And then just some cotton balls, Q-tips, things that are easily seen whenever guests come over and may need to borrow something. They don't have to dig in the cabinets. It's just out in the open where it is easy access for them. Now we will move into the living room. So again, another house plant. We do have to find something to plant this in and it will get big and trail over. It's gonna be gorgeous up here. This little picture is 
old pictures of the church that my mom and dad got married in. So I think that's so pretty displayed like in their little foyer area. And then you can't really see everything that we have tucked away behind these doors. I really feel like that wallpaper is going to help and make things kind of jump out at you instead of being so dark. And then my mom's going to also order some lights for the cabinet as well to brighten it up. And these picture frames my mom's had forever, they used to be in my room, and she actually took out the little dress silhouettes that were in there and printed these pictures off of Etsy, and she changes them out every season. So right now she has some birds in them. And then over here on the piano, this is all stuff that she had on there before the flood, and we just really liked how we had everything styled. We really redid a lot of my mom's house and moved some things around right before the flood, and we really liked how that we had it all styled. We said that we were going to change it all up, but whenever we started putting the decor back out, we really just liked the way that we already had it. A couple figurine my grandma actually gave my mom a few years ago, and my mom just loves it, so we put that back on the piano. And then the fireplace, we're gonna go back and get my mom's big candles. We thought we were gonna sell them, but we think that they'll be beautiful over here on the left side. They're really big, gold, and beautiful candlesticks. And we're gonna put them back on the fireplace. And then we have a beautiful little spring scene shown on the TV, just some like little artwork. And then this little table, it definitely needs something else to it. We're thinking about putting some black and white pictures of my grandparents on it with some different frames. And we thought about painting it, but I don't know. I kind of like the color that it is. We thought about painting something black, but let me know if y'all see anything in this little area that needs to be painted black or if you like all the furniture the way that it is. This lamp we got my mom for a gift and we still had the plastic on it because we didn't know if we loved it or not. And then the picture that you're seeing hung on the wall, we actually got that from the thrift store and we loved it. So I love the little grandma and grandpa chair sitting beside each other and then the little touch of their Bibles and this beautiful plant just really it was just something that was simple and something that they'll use over here on their end tables. And then this mirror used to be hung up over the piano in the flat four year wall and we actually took it off the wall and put it in this corner and it made the living room feel a lot bigger. And then these curtains my mom got from Amazon and they're big thick velvet curtains. Okay friends, that is all for today's video. If you see something that needs to be changed up or have a question on where we purchase something, just let us know in the comments down below. I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I cannot wait to decorate with you at my mom's house on the next one. Bye y'all.